Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, home to 1.4 million people. The city's architecture reflects the country's past as part of the Soviet Union. Georgia gained independence in 1991 and is now striving to become a member of the European Union. But it is still a country in transition. The Tbilisi-based pedestrian rights organization, Iare Pekit, is working to promote the rights of pedestrians in Georgia. In Georgia and other Soviet states, the United Nations Democracy Fund, UNDEF, supports the transition to democracy by funding local civil society organizations such as Iare Pekit. This is not a project about road safety. This is a project about giving people power, particularly pedestrian power. It's about putting people at the center of society rather than cars. In recent years, the volume of traffic on the streets of Tbilisi has grown at an alarming rate. Legislation to meet the increased road use hasn't moved at the same pace. The majority of people don't own cars, but pedestrians, including the elderly and people with disabilities, are never given priority on the streets. Georgia has not significantly updated its traffic laws since the Soviet time, so you could say that a lot of it is up, uh, outdated, and uh, the Soviet city planning and general urban design and the traffic regulation was more kind of car-focused. It did not emphasize the rights of the pedestrians. Iyari Pagit regularly organizes so-called ugly walk tours for concerned citizens to show how difficult it can be navigating the streets of Tbilisi and discuss how to bring about solutions. Erekla is the father of an eight-month-old baby girl, Anna, living in an apartment building in the center of Tbilisi. Moving around the city with a stroller is beset with difficulties. Erekla wants the streets to be safer for his daughter's future. With Iare Pekit, he's encouraging support for new legislation to improve road regulations and therefore make it easier for pedestrians negotiating the city streets. Well, it's important to have this new law in order to avoid having a situation where there is no sidewalk left, no place left for pedestrians to walk, where sidewalks all around Tbilisi are occupied by cars. And this is the result of the fact that our current regulations and penalties are too mild. Sunday morning at the Iare Pekit office in Tbilisi. Elena Magvalashvili, the organization's director, and her team are getting ready for a demonstration in front of the Georgian parliament. Today we are protesting with a group of different organizations, all working on different road safety issues. The poster says, uh, make road safety legal. So make it a law, turn it into the law, and to pressure the government, pressure the parliament to pass this road safety law. Decision makers at Tbilisi City Hall are now realizing that urban planning must become a priority. But now they face a new challenge, changing people's mindsets. It's not only the law and the enforcement that is maybe our problem, but it's also the behavior of the participants of our citizens. But again, it must be done coupled with the media campaign that aims at raising the public awareness in a way to impact positively to all the participants of the mobility. Through awareness-raising activities by civil society organizations, such as Iare Pekit, Georgia's future generations will be better informed and more mindful about traffic rules and pedestrians' rights. And humans will be considered the masters of the machines, not vice versa.